A dozen teenagers have already lost their lives to knife crime in the UK this year. A dozen families devastated. And the fear that anyone's child could be next touches those right at the heart of government. The Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, making this very personal admission today. I may be the Home Secretary, but I'm not ashamed to confess. I have stayed up late at night, many times, waiting for the key to turn in the front door. And only then going to bed, safe in the knowledge that my children are home. Samer Sidholm will never know that piece again. His 18-year-old son Sammy was stabbed to death close to their front door. Police believe his murderers had been looking for someone else. You know, when you lose a child, it's, your life ends. It makes you uh, very angry as well that this still continues to go on and that uh, I guess um, the government is not taking responsibility for it. Government ministers know this is a problem they need to get on top of quickly. For you as Home Secretary, it's quite an admission to say that you don't feel your own children are safe on the streets. Doesn't that say you're getting something badly wrong? I'm being honest about, as a father, how I feel, but it also impacts how I implement policy and what I've set out today, a whole-of-government approach that deals with this like some kind of deadly disease where every government department is working together to eradicate it. More stop and search is another part of his pitch, but ministers do not concede that this is a problem of police numbers. Former police officers say it is. I have seen a reduction of 18,000 police officers across the country. I've seen a reduction of 20,000 police staff. So I, I just find it extraordinary that anybody would argue that the, the two are not connected, that the reduction in police officers is not connected with the rise in knife crime. Knife crime, then, is a matter of growing public concern and increasing political urgency. One of the problems with serious violence is the cuts in police officers. And I'm up here in West Yorkshire, and they've lost 2,000 officers since 2010. So if the Home Secretary is really serious about fighting violent crime, he has to look at the cuts in the number of police officers. Ministers not only need to persuade the electorate they are worried about violent crime, but also that they have the answers to it.